Hello friends, this video on excretory products and their elimination part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us talk about the next phylum that is the arthropods or the arthropoda. This is the uh, phylum for organisms or the animals with jointed legs and here we talk about all types of insects whether you talk about a mosquito or you talk about a butterfly or a cockroach all of them fall under this phylum arthropods now how do they excrete their waste materials they have specialized tubule like structures called malphigian tubules which are used as excretory organs now let us quickly see what are these malphigian tubules now these are branched tubules which are connected to the hemolymph. Now please note that in case of arthropods they do not have blood. They have a fluid called hemolymph that is in case of arthropods the blood and the lymph are not distinguished from each other. I mean they are both mixed together and that is why the fluid is called hemolymph. So these tubules the malphigian tubules they are connected to this hemolymph. And what do they do? They collect wastes from the blood and put it into the intestine. Now basically what happens is that now the blood, now here in this case it is not blood but the hemolymph, it contains the waste materials. Now it does not contain only the waste materials along with other useful substances it also contains the waste materials. Now since the branching tubules are in connection with the hemolymph, so what will the malphigian tubules do? They will take the waste materials from the blood. Now once they take the waste materials into the blood, they pass it to the, the intestine. That is they are passing it to the digestive system. Now once it is passed to the digestive system, what will happen to the waste materials? They will be discharged by the process of ejection. That is they will be discharged in the form of feces. So that is how excretion takes place here. So you do not have a separate mode of excreting out. But what you do is you just have some structures, some tube-like structures, which will take the waste materials from the blood and put them into the digestive system. Now once the waste materials gets into the digestive system, they get excreted out in the form of feces. So wastes are discharged through anus because anus is the place through which the feces are discharged in a digestive system. Now, the next one is mollusks. Now, in mollusks also, nephridia are the primary excretory organs in most of them. So, nephridia, we have already discussed in detail that how nephridia performs the function of excretion. Here, the wastes are discharged in the form of ammonia or uric acid. So, when it is ammonia, a lot of water will be eliminated. When it is uric acid, the waste or the excreta will be almost solid. That is minimum loss of water. It maintains the water balance. Now, in most of the cases, wherever the excretion is taking place, the water balance and the ionic balance are also taken care of by default. And then the next one that is echinoderms or the echinodermata. So they, they do not have any specialized organs for the process of excretion. So how do they excrete? The excretion occurs by simple diffusion through their respiratory surfaces. So their body surface itself, they help in exchange of gases. Similarly, they also help in exchange of uh, fluids which contain the waste materials. So it happens by process of simple diffusion. So when you talk of echinoderms, you can think of uh, animals like the starfish. They all fall under the category of echinoderms. So here again, you, their body surfaces act as the means of excretion. Now these are some of the different or animals in which different excretory structures are used for the process of excretion. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.